Hello, everyone who loves to bake, or everyone who is quarantined because of corona and suddenly has nothing better to do but bake. Yes, we're wearing pajamas because we are right now going to bake three kinds of cinnamon rolls. Do you remember what kind? Um, well, sweet rolls. Do you remember? Cinnamon rolls, raspberry rolls, and orange cranberry. Orange cranberry rolls. And and blackberry almond. We're gonna make three different types. This is gonna be cuckoo pants. Climb up here. So we really don't know what we're doing. We're trying three completely new recipes out and whatever ends up being the best one, we'll let you know. And I will post links to the recipes. We're also going to try and hyperlapse portions of it because otherwise this will take 500 years. We will stop the camera whenever things are rising, cooking for a long time, etc. So. For right now, we're gonna go ahead and get started mixing. <sighs> we've already done, we've already done all of our mise en place for our three different types. What does mise en place mean, Leland? Do you remember? No. It means when we get all of our stuff in place in preparation for what we're doing. Just ignore my kitchen. It is in the middle of the early stages of a Bacon. remodel. Hallelujah for the remodel. Because our my kitchen is tiny. It is tiny and it is awful. So, let me get some stuff together and we'll get going. Okay, we need to check and see if our milk is warm at 110 degrees. So go ahead and stick that in there and tell me if it's at 110. One hundred and ten. Perfect. Alright. Alright, go ahead and take that out. Let's clean it off. Let's clean that off. Yep, and then set it down to the side over there. Alright, so we're gonna feed. We're gonna yes. feed it. We're gonna feed this. Take it out. Mm. Yo whisk. Okay, so we're gonna put a couple tablespoons of our sugar for our milk. actual milk into the milk for our actual cinnamon rolls into the milk, and then we're gonna put all of our yeast in. I want you to gently whisk that together. Okay. Okay. Is that good? So we gently whisk it together, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna set it to the side. Let it get frothy and foamy because we're feeding our yeast. Wait, what? We're feeding yeast? Yes. Okay, give our yeast a smell. Do you think it smells right? Yeah. Okay, why, why is it foamy and frothy now? Because it's sat and we fed the yeast. We fed the yeast. Okay, Can wait, I pour it in them? Yep, they'll be next. First, we gotta put in our flour. Okay, okay. so here. I'm not pouring it. I'll let you. Let me take that off because it'll make life easier. Okay, gently. Okay, that's gently. Mm. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's definitely gently. Cooking with Leland. Wait, is there any water? I swear it's something like Some flour? That's okay. If a little tiny bit comes out, that's all right. It's all right here. Okay, now you may go ahead and pour in our yeasty milk sugar. There you go. You gotta get all that awesomeness. So that's what's gonna make our cinnamon rolls puffy. To make them rise. Can we make this off so the life is easier? Nope. We're good. Alright, ready? Put the dough put it down. We lock it in place on the back. Go ahead and put it on to about two. Whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, so now we're going to do the mixing part. Okay, so it's combined. Ignore my floofy hair. So it's combined, and now we're going to add our eggs one at a time, and we're going to start hyperlapsing, adding things little by little. Alrighty, so now we need to add our sugar, our salt, and our butter, and mix it.
unlock. Okay, so you unlock it. It's already over. So we need a lift. Now we need that to get all the dough off of it. Now we gotta put our dough in our greased bowl. This one? Mm-hmm. To make it not stick, that's why it's greased. Yep, yeah, because then we gotta let it, we have to cover it with a tea towel with one of our little towels, and we gotta let it rise. Rise! And two to nine. Okay, I wanna, I wanna pick it up. Do you wanna pick up the ball of dough? Uh, with my hands are back. You can pick it up with your hands. Hold on. You can help shape it into a ball. Okay. Now let's pour it out onto the counter. We'll make so, sure that we shape it into a nice little ball before we go and pop it in. It's not coming out. It is. Hold on. No, there's the other way. You can flip it all the way over. Well, it was already flipped all the way over, turkey burger. No, like that. Ta-da! Okay, I will mix it with my hands. No, we don't need to mix it, really. We just need to... Make it a ball. By mix it, I mean make it into okay. a ball. Okay, now go ahead and pick up your beautiful ball of dough and sit it right in here. It's a heavy. Now it's together. just Ready? sticky. Go. It's sticking. Oh. No, it's just sticking. Okay, so we've got our dough and we're going to cover it and let it rise for 90 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to make our filling and our that frosting. you guys can watch. That. Okay, so we're gonna make the filling for our cinnamon rolls. So open it over the bowl, over the bowl, because that butter is very, very melty. See, super duper melty. It's mine. I know, you're gonna make it, don't worry. That's your size whisk, isn't it? It's your perfect size whisk. Okay, and then what do you do next? What is that? Cinnamon and sugar? Cinnamon and sugar. All right, go ahead and pour it in. Oh, but it smells so good. It does. But I can smell. Okay. Now do I miss? Yep, hold the bowl and gently whisk it together. Keep going and mix it all together until you can see that it's all incorporated. Is that good? Nope. Just tell me when it's good. I'll tell you when. You're doing great. Keep going, bud. I have to get down. Get this closer to me. To where you can't see the butter. No one wants to see white stuff in there. You see that dry patch over there that has the cinnamon sugar over there? Can you get all that in there? Yeah, keep going. There you go. Go around the edges of the bowl all the way. Is that good? That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. Woo! And make the frosting. Okay. We're so I'll set that over here. So to make your frosting, we're going to take our cream cheese and we're going to cream it completely by itself first once it's creamed. Then we'll add our butter. And once the two of them are incorporated, we will add our vanilla, our heavy whipping cream, our salt, and our powdered cheese sugar. Cream. cream cheese. So we're going to hyperlapse cream that for you. Cream cheese. Hyperlapse. Okay, you can taste test. Use your spoon. Get a tiny bit. There you go. Ooh, that's more than a tiny bit. Ah. All right, Jeff, you're tasting. All right, tell me if the frosting's yummy. It's actually really good. 
Don't you dare. It's you one time, homie, one time. You can't stick the same spoon back in. But it tastes so good. I know. All right, so we're going to go ahead and transfer our icing over to here. And when our cinnamon rolls are done and baked and hot, we will put this on. But for now, we're just jumping steps ahead so we can keep the same and recipe together. And it's night time. Yeah. No school. And this was for breakfast, Mom said. For tomorrow, duh. Okay, so we're going to make the fillings for our blackberry almond and for our orange cranberry. But because they have to have time to cool off, we're gonna do that now before we do the breads. So, my and this mom is my. Knew we were gonna do this, but I honestly don't know what I'm doing. That's all right. Well, we're gonna do it together as okay. we go. Okay. So first things first. Let's turn this on to about medium, and turn this guy on to about medium. Grab your blackberries. We're gonna swap. You're going to put your blackberries right into there. All of them? Mm-hmm. Oh, hold on. We want all the juices and the sugar that have been sitting on it. Yeah. All right. There's a little tiny thing of water over there. Can you see it? Um, this? Little, nope. Little tiny thing of water. Yeah, right there. Yep. Go ahead and pour that in there. What is that stuff? It's just water. Okay, put that in the sink. Okay, give that a gentle stir. Next, we're gonna mix all of our stuff for our cranberry and orange filling. Noodles of orange zest. Orange zest. Why am I mixing it? Aiden zested three giant oranges just by himself, which was magic. We're just upstairs doing nothing. Yeah. Well, I guess I did want to do that. Exactly. Just put in our orange juice with more orange zest. That's good. Good. All right. My hands still hurt from doing jam. So these are our pre-chopped cranberries. I did not do that. No, I would use fresh, but when you're in a pandemic and you can't find cranberries, you use dried and you make it work. This is how coronavirus is. Yeah. Just gotta make it work, right? I want you to very carefully whisk those spoons together. cinnamon and nutmeg and sugar. Go ahead and pour it in here. Try not to get it on the unit. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and sit that in the sink. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let these simmer until they have reduced and then we're gonna let them fully cool. So we'll show you what we got going on and what it looks like when they're done. Let me unhook that phone so you can see. So that one's not quite incorporated or mixed yet. Got to stir the berries until they are so soft Trust and reduced. Me, this looks gross, but it's actually very good whenever it's it smells over. delicious, right? And it smells delicious. Okie dokie. All right, so now we're going to make the dough for the blackberry almond. She's right there if you're wondering where she's talking from. I'll move this way because he's uncomfortable being on the camera by himself. Yes, I am. Okay. So, what do you need to do to your milk first? Well, first, you need to put this in. Uh, take your milk's temperature. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. What temperature does your milk need to be at, approximately? 110. And ours is at, like, 111. So, that's, so that's pretty, pretty, much perfect. pretty good. So, then you put, you pour all of this in. And what is that? That's yeast, right? Yes, yeast. So, go ahead and pour that in. And then you do... Two tablespoons of sugar, which I am not getting pouring. No, nope, that's good. It doesn't have to be exact, baby. We're just gonna feed our yeast. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons, and then we just let it sit. And Give that a gentle 
Mix a zhuzh, it. a little stir. And now we'll hyperlapse it and we'll show you how foamy and frothy it's going to get. Yup. All right, so Hello. look at our delicious, wonderful. It smells like bread, actually. Yep, that's what, and does our yeast look different now? Way different. Way different, right? Okay, so what we're doing first, first. Sugar into. I don't know what to do, I remember. Just All right. Like, don't have to Sprinkle it everywhere in there. I shall take the dish. Then we get two scoops of this, it doesn't matter, just a scoop. Oh, careful. Over in there. Here. What? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I did not meant to do that. My that is perfectly messy, fine. I don't care. That's good. Just like that. And then... Go ahead and put this guy up there. Ugh. Hey, baking's messy. It's wonderful. It Just make it happen. Get up. There we go. And oh, then we pour this in. The bread smelled milk with yeast. All of our yeast, our yeast and our milk and sugar. We and fed it and made it delicious. What do we do? We just put the lid down. Gentle. Whoa, put to it what? in a lock. On the back, you have to lock it. And put it on like, what, uh, stir for now. Whoa, on stir. Let that start incorporating. Maybe wait. next week we can make bread. Like we can We're make making these at 11 bread. in the like midnight. It's almost midnight. Last time so I checked the time is 11:42. Because Daddy works night shift, and this way. Are we gonna be... have to eat them for breakfast tomorrow? Oh, I thought we were gonna eat them today. Yeah. If they finish and you're still awake, we'll see. Okay, so now that's nice and incorporated. We're gonna bring this guy over here, and you're gonna do one scoop at a time down into here. Mm -hmm. and so so. Slow and steady. It's easiest if you kind of go this way. It'll be easier if I put gloves on. Gloves? What do you need gloves for? Your hands wash. Here. Put some more of this in here. Mm, we'll save it? out. No, you can't taste it yet. Because it doesn't taste delicious yet, promise. Ew. Hold on. I'll we'll put all but just a little bit in there. We'll save this little bit for getting stuff off the sides. Mm -hmm. So hold on. We gotta lock it in place. Reach oh, back here. Lock. Reach back there and feel it and slide it across. And since ours is getting old, we have to hold her down sometimes. Stir. Just for a minute, and then we're gonna swap to our dough hook. Once we start feeling it kind of go, oh, like it's dying. All right, go ahead and put one egg in at a time. Just slide it in. How am I supposed to know? You'll see. Just pour in. There you go. And it stopped for a second. Oh, oh well, too late. Pour it in. I feel like I just messed it up. You did not mess it up, darling. Butter. It's a little bit melty, so we want to hold it over here when we do it so that it doesn't. There we go. Ah, I just put butter all over the floor. Who cares? <laughs> Smart Alec.
right, so we're gonna let this knead for a while. We're gonna switch to our dough hook and let it knead until it starts pulling away from the sides. And if we're struggling, we'll add that last little bit of flour to kind of change that up. So we'll put it on hyperlapse. Okay. Okay. So what we this is this well, this is sprayed with tan, I can't hear. This, no. <laughs> this is sprayed with pan spray, and I'm as, I'm gonna take the dough out and I'm gonna roll it into a bowl with my hands and put it in here and I'm gonna cover it with this and then we're gonna be started and then that's done until it cooks up until and then it we're rises, gonna be, right? And then we're gonna be started on. Uh, <laughs> The last oh, that Jocelyn has got it stuck. Oh, for the love. You ain't put pants for him, huh? Right? I think it's time to replace our KitchenAid or have Dad do some maintenance on it. I think our, our poor old KitchenAid, I think it's time for it to... What do you mean? To help get it to where it, it isn't stuck. Let's... Okay, there we go. Sorry, we had to get it unstuck. There we go. Restart. It only took another second after that. You can pause the video and restart it again. <laughs> Sorry, I am not a devil. Just know that I just sound weird. Why I had to choose the softest spatula in the entire world? I don't know if I'm human or not. I'm not aware either whether you're human or not. I don't act like human, but I am. Well, there's days. You have your days. Yeah, I just, some days, some days. All right. Oh, Use your beautifully clean hands, please. Is it just clean? How will I roll this? Just like that. It's just like that. And then you gently pick it up and sit it right in there. Eh. Do you want me to help with two hands on one side and you do it on the other? Ooh, and stop, boop. Okay, we're gonna get this. Okay, Shake it out, there you go. We're gonna go sit this somewhere warm for about 40 minutes or until it doubles in size. So to the table! Whee! Okay, so we are about to roll out the dough. If you wanna know what it looks like, I already know what it looks like, but we we said it would be double its size, but it's almost like double and a half or something. Like it used to be like this, and now look at it. It's up to here, and if you put it on, you can almost. I have to go get Bertha. Big Bertha. I have to go get Big Bertha. So we need to flour our table. Hold on. Let's move our lovely cloth. We have to clean it up after this. Oh yeah. Big time. Why are we flowering? Because when we roll the dough out, it's going to totally stick to the table. Mm, you got a point. Can I roll it? You can help. Just one moment. Let me get it started. Don't want to stick in the big Bertha. Okay, now let's sit Bertha down for a moment. We may need Why to make it. Gotta punch it down. Oh, that, that looks oh no, it's so sad. <laughs> Hold on. Can I roll it up? Yeah. Hold on. That feels weird. I flour on my hand. Okay. I need the hand spray. Can you go spray those two cookie sheets completely, please? Completely? Try not to get it all on the floor, but yes, even the sides.
We're gonna roll it into a rectangle. We're gonna spread out all of our uh, cinnamon butter mix onto it, and then we're gonna roll them up, place them in our trays, and then cover them with cling film, saran wrap, whatever you wanna call it, and let them rise for like another two to three hours. Okay, right. so we're taking the temperature again. It's 106, so we're going to put it back in the microwave. About for five more seconds, and then give it a stir. Five seconds. Give it a stir. Take it again. And then we're going to do the same as last time with the two um, tablespoons of sugar and, and flour. The, the yeast. yeast. And then the and then turn it to the bread or something. Like that. It's going to make our yeast grow. We're going to give it food. Yes. Kind We're of. feeding our yeast. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are feeding yeast, Matthew. Let's sit there for a sec. That's the way to feed yeast. Whoa. Nope. Perfect. Ah. Okay. 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 So first, let's put our yeast. Sugar. Sugar first. Sugar first. Sugar. I already got one tablespoon ready. Okay. Get the second tablespoon. Top off. Then we're going to put yeast in. And we're going to mix it up. Gotta give it five minutes to do what to get foamy and frothy. Yes. All right. Yes. So in the meantime, Leland, or Aiden, set a timer, please, for five. For five minutes. Kitchen timer, five minutes. Okay. Five minute timer start. All right, Leland. In the meantime, come over here, please. My little brother is coming over. I'll be over here. you to pour this sugar into the flour, please. Okay. Yes. Okay, whoa, simmer there, crazy okay, cans. that's enough. That looks like a lot. That's a lot of sugar, Mom. Give it a little stir. <laughs> no, I think it's good. And we already put the salt in here. Yep, because the lead in. Okay, let that sit. We're gonna go ahead and pause and wait until our milk and um, yeast is ready, and then we will make the dough for the last one. But we'll hyperlapse all of it since I'm sure you're so tired of seeing us.
Okay, so we're gonna finish these up with making the glazes. It's stupid easy. Pretty much you just incorporate everything and make a glaze. So that's what I'm gonna do. The recipes will be posted below and then I'll take pictures tomorrow and show you guys how they turned out.